Now your first glimpse at dramatic new images of the discovery of an American warship lost 72 years ago. First on CBS This Morning, this video shows the moments a research vessel owned by Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen found the USS Indianapolis. That ship, sunk by Japanese torpedoes in 1945, found way at the bottom of the Philippine Sea. Vladimir Duthier of our streaming network CBSN is outside the World War II Memorial in New York with details. Vlad, good morning. Good morning. The World War II Memorial here at Battery Park is dedicated to those service members who lost their lives at sea. The sinking of the USS Indianapolis resulted in one of the greatest losses of life from a single ship in U.S. naval history. Of the almost 1,200 crew members on board, only one in four survived. That's it, Paul. We've got it. With the hull identification number 35 Andy. visible, researchers found the USS Indianapolis. New video shows the ship's distinct World War II era weapons. Yeah, this is definitely the dual 40 millimeter. This photo shows those same weapons defending the Indy from Japanese fighters. Robert Kraft led the expedition. The depth of water out here and the remote location, it makes it extremely difficult to mount a search and be persistent enough to be successful. New technology enabled the crew of the RV Patrol to launch a vehicle that could travel down more than 18,000 feet to the ocean floor. She was the most iconic and historically significant ship at that time. She had just completed a secret mission, delivering components for one of the two atomic bombs to be dropped on Japan. While en route to the Philippines, two Japanese torpedoes hit and sunk the ship. Edgar Harrell is one of the estimated 800 men that escaped. An SOS was never received, and no one knew they were missing. We're thirsty, we're hungry, we are just completely exhausted, but we dare not give up. For four and a half days, they waited in shark-infested waters. A shark would be coming through the group, and he would take someone fairly close to you. Only 316 men were rescued. Harrell, now 92, says he was afraid he would never see the discovery of the USS Indianapolis. It still leaves open uh, the trauma of that experience, but the fact that we found the ship now, that brings closure to the story of the Indianapolis. The ship's classified mission helped bring the war to a close. The exact location of the ship still is classified because it is a war grave and also property of the U.S. government. Of those 316 men that survived, Nora, only 19 are still with us today. Wow, what an incredible story, Vlad. Thank you so much.